I was watching a documentary on extreme poverty in India, Africa, and even the Philippines. And one thing I've noticed is not only the dire straits that uh, these people are in, but they seem to have something that the Western world lacks. Number one, unlike the Western world where these cancer culture and these extreme sensitive people suffer from depression and anxiety for the slightest problem in their lives. Africa and India don't seem to have these, this mental illness, this mental weakness that the Western people have. And they seem to smile even through their poverty They seem to have this strong family tradition, this strong family tie, which the Western world do, does not have. The Western world are rich. They are wealthy, obviously due to historical exploitation. But as a result, these people, the rich in the Western world, are not happy despite the advancement in technology, despite even, you know, in, in America with prosperity preachers indulging in ripping up the poor. But still, they're not happy. They take drugs, you know, that they're living strange, immoral lifestyles because their money does not make them happy. Yet, in comparison to Africa, in comparison to India, you don't, you got them all out in the markets selling fruit, you know, even meat, whatever, to make ends meet. But you don't see people going there trying to rob them, trying to steal from them unlike what you get in the Western world. Why is that? In the Western world, in India, you got the rich and the poor living side by side, yet the poor don't rob you. Unlike in the Western world, you dare wear, wear a Gucci, you know, or Calvin Klein, or you, you, you know, whatever. You wear a designer clothes or a designer watch. You're gonna get robbed. No? So you can have all that wealth, but you'll always live in fear that walking down the street, someone is going to rob you. India and Africa does not have that problem, nor the Philippines. The poor don't sit back thinking, how am I going to rob the rich? The poor go out there on the streets trying to hustle, if you like, trying to sell their wear and tears. their fruit, their harvest. They have something the Western world does not have. They have integrity. They have family. They have honor. The Western world does not have that. She's all about riches. She's all about wealth. She's all about trampling on anyone to get where she wants to be. And hence, 
Her wealth has made her miserable. Her wealth has incarcerated her. It's almost like a princess living in a castle and she's locked away with all her wealth and all her riches, all her glory. She's locked away in a castle because of protection. What kind of lifestyle is that? You even in India, you got bicycles and cars weaving, you know, dangerously. Yet there's no road rage. There's no road rage in Africa, unlike the Western world. The Western world is packed with road rage to such degree that YouTubers are making money out of road rage. Making money out of people going shoplifting and uploading it. Any excuse to make money in the West, no matter who they're exploiting. Yet Africa and India, Philippines, and other poor countries. They try to make ends meet. They smile through their poverty. Even, even if they're in pain, you wouldn't guess it. Even though half of them do not have shoes on their feet, but they have integrity. And that is something the Western world lacks. That is something the Western world does not have. So, I'm not celebrating poverty, but what I'm saying is that when you look at the Western world, with all her riches, she's not safe. She can't go to sleep without having security around her. She panics. I remember one person, I can't remember much about the other person, but um, who would drive, you know, the expensive cars around obviously rich areas. But as soon as they knew they had to go through a poor area, they had another car, a poor car, which they would then drive through poor areas or if they wanted to buy weed or whatever, they would go into a, in their poor car because they knew for a while, if people knew they had money, they would be unsafe. This doesn't happen in Africa. This doesn't happen in India. This doesn't happen in Philippines. Only the Western world that love to show off their riches and they love to, to flaunt it in front of your face. And that's the reason why the Western world does not have any real happiness. Even the rich suffers from depression. Even the rich has anxiety. In other words, money makes you weak. It makes you a cancer culture. It makes you hypersensitive. Unlike the, the, the poor world where they're tough. You know, they have to survive through the grime and it toughens their character and their spirit gone through fire only sharpens them as human beings. The West can learn a lot from these poor countries.